Hello, I'm Harry. And I'm Nina. Today we are going to discuss the differences between the device manager versions of Ocean Store Dorado V6 and Ocean Store Dorado V3. Device manager layouts for Ocean Store V5 and Dorado V3 are similar. In this episode, we will use Ocean Store V3 R2 as an example. So let's take a look. People familiar with device manager for Ocean Store Dorado V3 may notice the significant changes we have made to the GUI layout. First, we have navigation. The navigation bar has been moved from the right to the top of the page. The navigation structure has been changed from flat to hierarchical. Secondary menus now displays an overview on the left and content on the right. The upper right corner displays recent alarms, language options, and login user information. It also shows recent tasks and system O and M operations, such as view and modify device information, restart, pull off, or upgrade the device, patch, configure the system, and export system data. In addition, the reference documentation, tools, and websites, such as the communication forum previously listed in the V3 menu support, are also integrated at the upper right corner in V6 for easy access. Another big change is the introduction of the services menu, where you can configure the vStore service, block service, file service, network, and resource tuning. In addition, we have implemented a standard industry practice by moving storage pools to a system menu. Let's briefly discuss each menu individually. The home menus are quite similar. Both display the basic device, capacity, alarm, and performance information. However, V6 has replaced the complex space-saving information with effective capacity. Effective capacity simplifies capacity display by providing the total amount of user data that can be written to the storage system. The system menu has moved from the second place in V3 to the fifth place in V6 in the menu bar because service provisioning is more frequently used. The services menu in V6 has replaced the provisioning menu of V3. Please also note that V6 has eliminated the flowchart for service provisioning because it supports complete service provisioning on a single page. Let's take long group mapping as an example. Go to Services, Block Service, and Long Groups. Click Create, set the name, and add the target lungs. In this example, we don't have any lungs, so we just use new lung. Select a pool and application type, and set a lung name prefix, individual lung capacity, and quantity. Then select a desired host group or host or click Create to make a new one, then click OK to finish. The V6 makes long group mapping a simple process by eliminating unnecessary interfaces and portals to streamline operations. Let's move on to data protection. The data protection layouts differ greatly. In V3, data protection is arranged by feature, and you can click a feature to view its configured objects. In V6, Data protection is arranged by object, and you can click Lungs to view their value-added features. V6 introduces a new option called Protection Group or PG. A PG is a lung group or a collection of lungs that allows you to batch configure protection for lungs. Basic system monitoring remains the same. You can oversee alarms, events, performance, and power consumption in both V3 and V6. However, V6 adds the ability to monitor historical performance. Device Manager for V6 includes most of the functions of System Reporter, which is a piece of performance monitoring software from Huawei. Monitor historical performance by clicking Performance to display instructions for storage space configuration. Click Configure storage space to display the monitoring settings page. Enable Retain historical monitoring data and set the retention period and data storage location. There is a maximum storage limit of 200 GB for performance data. Although monitoring historical performance is disabled by default, you should enable it for better fault locating. 
after the settings, go back to Insight and then Performance. Performance monitoring is displayable in both dashboard and analysis. Dashboard provides common indicators of common objects and supports quick queries. Analysis allows you to define the chart name, period, and the statistical metrics to customize queries. Let's jump to the settings menu. I'd like to remind you of two previously mentioned changes. The first is the system ONN operations in the settings menu of V3, such as export data, have been moved to the upper right corner in V6. Other settings for basic services are largely the same. The second is that resources in the support menu in V3 are integrated in the upper right corner in V6 for easy access. Now we have discussed major differences between the menu bars of Device Manager for Ocean Store Dorado V3 and Dorado V6. Next, we're going to show you what's new in Dorado V6. The home page has a new feature called Health Score. This feature uses alarm severities to create scores and deduct points to reflect the status of your device. Critical alarms deduct 40 points. Major alarms detect 20 points, and warnings detect 5 points. This feature will only grow in precision as we plan to add more parameters to its calculations in the future. The services page features another major change. V6 has significantly increased operation portals for all objects. Take long groups as an example. The system improves software interaction by listing common and match operations above the long group table. Long groups can be customized for mapping and protection. Clicking more in the operation column provides access to even more operations, and clicking the long group name displays its details. The topology view is also a new feature for better fault locating. Operation in the upper right corner is available common operations. All of these changes give users precise control for service configuration anytime and anywhere. The next new feature I would like to mention is that the new version explains why buttons are unavailable. For example, the delete button here is unavailable because the LAN group is mapped, so to delete it, you would first need to unmap it. This eliminates potential sources of frustration for significant improvement in user experience. Now let's go over how to configure hypermetro consistency groups or hypermetro CDs. Hypermetro configuration can now be completed on one end. First, connect your local device to a remote device, which we've already done here for our demonstration. Select a long group, click Create Hypermetro, select Hypermetro Domain, select Remote Device, set Pair Creation to Automatic, and then select a pool. Then follow the mapping instructions. The system will automatically create lungs on the remote device using local lungs and lung groups, eliminating manual lung creation for remote devices. As you can see, Ocean Store Dorado V6 simplifies applications with a streamlined, convenient, and standardized operating process. The new version processes tasks in the background. Let's check it on GUI. Go to Insight and then Task Center to view task details. Failed tasks can be clicked to view the cause of failure and correction suggestions. You can also retry or delete a task. Export performance reports on the report export page by following the instructions to create an export task. The system menu includes a new function called inventory that displays hardware information by category. You can view information like the estimated lifespans of SSDs, or the bit error statistics or ports. Unfortunately, we don't have enough time to fully explore all of the new features of Dorado V6. However, we fully encourage you to explore its many benefits on your own by obtaining its device manager demo from our support website. Please leave comments if you have any. Okay, that concludes our discussion on the improvements of device manager for Ocean Store Dorado V6. We hope it was informative. More videos are on the way. Subscribe and stay connected. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.